Okay. Now, um, let's talk about after the delivery. Mm. Uh, it sort of happens in our culture that everyone will become really, really, you know, proactive at that time. And you have all these things being sent over to your house and the, um, uh, the new mother uh, is pampered a lot and, you know, she'll be told to have lots of rest, not get off the bed and, and people, you know, be coming over to massage her or whatever. And then she'll get all this key and a sleeky and whatnot and things to, you know, Bungie. to eat and bungee and things like that. Mm. Now, how much of that is good for her? Where is the balance? What actually should she be doing? All right. Um, two, two sides to this, the physical mm. activity and the diet. Mm. Uh, Chilla, the six weeks postpartum, mm. the, the, the six weeks in, after every surgery or procedure or trauma to the body is mm. the healing cycle of the body. Mm. It's six weeks is a regular healing cycle of the body. Okay, so that, those 40 days are actually... Very important. Very important for any sort of uh, surgery or even... Mm. A, okay, that's very interesting. Uh, Hikmat recognized it for uh, uh, centuries. Mm, mm. Allopathy actually took longer to recognize it, mm, right? Mm. The healing cycle is important. Uh, the rest is important, the right. massage is important okay. because all the hormonal changes are now being reversed. Right, so You're all those <laughs> loosening up of all those joints and everything is now slowly coming back. Yes, okay. the massage works, mm -hmm. the rest is important. You, you actually recover the most when you're sleeping, mm -hmm. even after surgery or injury or anything, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. So um, the massage is important, the rest is important. Um, not lifting heavy weights is important and uh, immunity is low. So right. not interacting with a lot of people is important. Very right? important Very point important. You, you've made there. And also for the baby. Oh my God, I cannot even stress that. Everyone wants to come and hold the baby and kiss the baby and infect the baby. I heard, I, I, wrote, I read an article where a newborn baby died because uh, she was kissed by somebody who had, who was, uh, who had the herpes virus. Yes, yes. I, I tell my patients, put the baby in a crib okay. so that everyone can see the baby, mm. but in another room. Uh -huh. So visitors sit in another room, right. bring them in, mm. see the baby, mm. no one picks up the baby, they go out. Mm. But How do you achieve that balance in a culture such as ours? A lot of difficulty. Mm. It's very difficult, but you have to put your foot down. Mm. You have to put your foot down. Now, coming to the Panjir thing, right. again, that's hikmat based. It mm. has, we are talking about the reversal of the hormonal changes, yeah. right? Tamarkas. Mm. Uh, there are so many ingredients there that help the woman's body come back into shape, the mm. abdominal muscles, the perineal muscles, the mm. back. I mean, it, 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 these things are amazing. Uh, just put less of ghee, maybe, less because the lifestyle does not have so much activity or um, right. before or after. Right. Because our women, the modern woman, is mm. not going to go back to the fields after six weeks. Yes. She's maybe going back to an office and yeah. a very sedentary lifestyle. So yeah. then she doesn't need all that ghee. It's going to but be harder for her to burn off. Yeah, yeah. Because she's got the baby weight as well, and then adding to her, the, the sleeky and everything would, would be a problem for yeah. her.